Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, Ken Plays. We're doing we're doing Guild Wars again, getting back to the Heart of Thorns campaign. Welcome to the late hour. So we're recording today, doing a bunch of episodes. Uh, Cam and I actually new new member of the Elitist now. Um, get my my fancy dancy headphones going here. Uh, you know what? I don't... Eh, bear with me here for a sec, folks. Blurry screen. See, look, I've been editing stuff. I don't even need to blur that out. It's, there's, if you can piece together what that is, there's a sneak peek of what's coming up next. So yeah, it's, it's and you might have saw the time there. It's <clears throat> 9.30 at night. Um, oh, just, I, I can't, yeah, I changed, I changed stuff. I think it's working. I might have to reboot the game. I might just put on my headphones. Oh, that's really loud. It's really loud. Um, so yeah, it's been like a couple months since I played this. I thought I'd get back into it. Um, yeah, and just try to beat it, get some more episodes up for the channel. I really enjoy playing this solo. Uh, like, I tried Dead Cells. Um, I think that's about the only other... No, I did AVGN 2, but that was more just to show off the game. And, um, yeah, I really... Yeah, there's no... Oh, wait. Oh god damn it! The, okay, I got technical difficulties. One one sec, folks. Oh, look, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I will be, I will be right back. Pausing the episode now. Need to get the batteries. Need to get the batteries for my headphones. Wait. Oh, it just was loading the audio. Okay, returning to the episode now. Um, I'm crazy, everyone. It was just loading the audio. So there we go. Cool. Um, turn that down. Oh, you audio nuts out there. That's the moment you can tell whether or not I synchronized this episode properly. Uh, I just don't feel like wearing headphones right now. Normally I do. God, I've wasted some time in this episode. So, okay, okay, what do we gotta do? We just gotta go towards the green thing. And that's all we gotta do. And I got, I got, I got this. And I think there's a new episode out now. I think I got it. I'll worry about that in my own time. Here, here are your items you purchased. I didn't purchase anything. What's going on here? I don't know what's okay. Let's let's get going here. We got an egg on our back. I remember, yeah, we got the egg. Remember that much? Ooh. Okay, yeah, cool, nice. So that is a new episode. A bug in the system. That'll date this episode perfectly for everyone. Oh. <clears throat> let's get in our mutant rabbit, a rabbit, a rabito, and let's get a move on. Ah, what a gorgeous game. I know I've said it like a million times, but. Really is. Really, oh, oh, no, 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 no. We don't need any of that. <clears throat> really is a pretty game. Excuse me while I take a sip of my, my cafe there. See, I've been up editing and, um... At last you're here. Ooh. Um, What's going on here? Oh, sweet. Meeting some new, meeting some important people. I've been up editing, I figured, why not... Um, get this done because I was doing the math and how many episodes we have <clears throat> and we've got like almost two months of content So I want to make it two months Thank you Hmm I mean to confront Mordremoth, but Mordremoth wants the egg problem. I'm not about to bring those two together I need to make sure the egg is totally secure before I move on Mortimer. Let us help you. We are the egg's sworn protectors, and Tarir is where it is meant to be. I'd like to know more about the Exalted and your city. Well, that's probably a good thing to do. Our patron is Glint, the Dragon Prophet. Interesting. She loved sentient beings and dedicated her life to protecting them. Oh, but Glint fucked everything up. And, well, <coughs> Glint <coughs> didn't fuck everything up. But I think that was the dragon that was involved with Destiny's Edge. Or maybe not. I don't know. There's a few different... There, there was like a brother and sister dragon, I think, of the crystal ones. So? Oh no! Ooh, sorry for that. Ooh, there goes the controller. <laughs> uh, 
my desk is a mess right now. Okay, may I leave behind light? May what I leave behind light the way. May those I leave behind nurture what I could not. May all who read these words gladly share the burden of my life's work. May people stop texting me the moment I start recording. Oh, never mind. That wasn't a text message. May this be my legacy, a, a city of hope. View, view terror. This reminds me of the cinematics from Doom 3. UAC. <laughs> <laughs> we who volunteered for the UAC paved the way for the future of Mars. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but... I, everyone hates that game. I fucking love it. This was one of the earliest games I played in my life. And it, it was fun. And they put a lot of care and attention to the detail in that game. I guess if you're really into the original Dooms, oh, I totally get it. It's not a Doom game, really, at all. It's... It's one of those games, and there's a lot of them lately too, where they, they totally, sorry for talking over the dialogue here, it totally could have been its own thing. Like, id games, or id software could have just been like, yo, let's just not call this Doom 3, let's just call this, um, you know, Space Terror 3000, and just make it its own thing entirely, and it's about demons attacking a space station on Mars. Okay, cool, yeah, because... Then, you know, the people who really love the Doom games wouldn't have been pissed off at the dramatic shift in gameplay. I, I thought, I just really dig the atmosphere of that game when I was uh, a teenager at that point. Fourteen, I guess, I think. What? Glide down? Oh. Of course they want me to glide. Need my griffin. Whoa. I can't use a <clears throat> mount here anyways. Getting some jankiness. Whoa. I probably should update my video drivers. There we are. Or, uh, yeah, it's an online game, so who knows what's really going on with that. Well, that's a pretty sedate, calm episode. I may as well take advantage of this. Uh, just talk about what the channel's doing, so... Here we are. Uh, the new portal is below us, and this... Rude. Wow, I f like, is this Groundhog Day? I feel like I just did this. I really feel like he was just standing near this open hole and said exactly that. I don't remember jumping down into the hole, but... Well, I'm losing it. Is he... Yeah, he's babbling to himself. Well, fuck him. Okay, so, um... Cam's one of the elitists now. We decided the Ken plays feet Cam. If he's gonna be a regular, it's a bit weird. So he's just another one of the co-hosts, and that makes my life easier for sorting out the videos and stuff. Um, oh no, he's coming closer. Beyond that, uh, everything's going normal. Peter's busy still, but he's going to be free, more free soon. So will all of us. And yeah, it, there's nothing changing with the channel, if, if you're curious. Oh, I'm probably going to uh, switch to three uploads a week. I know we kind of did that in the past, but it's never really been a set thing. I think I'm going to try to commit to it, at least for... I know I can do it for two months right now. Um, that's what I was talking about earlier. By doing the math, I, I, I meant I, we, we can do three, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, although I might, no, I guess weekdays, weekdays, I like having a YouTube show on weekdays, and if you're listening to this, let me know your opinion about this. I really like a YouTube show on weekdays, because when I'm working or whatever, it's nice to come home to something, whereas on the weekends, I don't really watch YouTube as much, because I'm busy, because I have free time, <laughs> making, you know, my hobbies, playing Warhammer, playing video games, hanging out with people, going on a date, um, making this now, which I really enjoy doing. I, what, England, your strength will be tested. I'm ready to begin. Okay, well we might get halfway through this, or I might just make this a long return episode to Guild Wars 2, because it has been a while, both for me and the uh, channel. <clears throat> Sorry for my grumpy throat there. I got, a, I got a very grump throat right now, I don't know why. It won't stop, and it's very annoying. Much like my hiccups in a certain um, episode of a certain series, you uh, you may have seen or may not see for a little while yet. <laughs>
because it's it's actually fairly long in the series too. So you might you might be like, oh, I know what series he's talking about. I think, but we've already recorded like twelve episodes of it, which is a first for us in a very short period of time. Um very happy right now about it, which is why I'm doing this. I, okay, fight dragon minions until the gate opens. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm not, I'm not fucking around. I am trying to find dragon minions. There we go. There we go. There's a dragon minion. Okay, stay away from those. Stay away from those. There we go. He's down. Please let me heal. Oh god, please regenerate. Regen. No, oh, no. No, no, you're a bad man. Oh, you're, you're a bad vortex too. No. Ah. Curses and cranberries. Come on. Come on, baby. It's so frantic when you like. Obviously, when you solo play any game, but I find especially with this game and not recording it necessarily, but just playing by myself. Shit. Oh, nice. It's a, oh no, it's a do it from the beginning one. Ooh, what time I got here? Three minutes? Okay, yeah, this might be a long episode. Or four minutes, actually. We'll see. We'll see. I'm aiming for 15 minutes on each of these. So I got this guy. He was easy. And then the vortexes start. I fucked around for a while there. Maybe I can find Mr. Uh, Mr. Crystal Face Man a little bit earlier. Oh, and then no, the zombie got me. That's right. Where... Okay, vortexes, check. Now I know to avoid them. Okay. What? Whatever. There he is. No, no, no! Oh, it tricked me! Oh, thank you for not double hitting me though, game. That, that was appreciated. Okay, we got him, we got him. He's going down. Yeah! Okay. Pop my heels. Before I get into action here. Ooh, it didn't heal. It didn't heal. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. I gotta do some damage to him in case he does knock me down. Here's a, a strategy for you if you solo if you wanna like solo play and you don't think it's possible in this game. One really good way to do it is leave a couple guys at low health. Uh, so that when you get knocked down, it's easy to kill one of them and get back up. And it, yeah, like rallying over and over again can really cripple you, but it's it's better than nothing, right? Hit him with freaking and minions for this mage are great because you might get lucky and they'll take him out. Okay, there's only four dragons. Oh. Oh, wait, is there five? I feel like there's five. I feel like there's five. I feel like I, I, feel like I made a mistake. I feel like I shouldn't try to heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on. Sometimes you get lucky. I think that minion helped. At least took some of the damage there. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, two minutes. Okay, what's this? Exit the chamber, okay. Well said, well said. Okay. Oh, I actually need a bit of a break from that. That was a good test. I liked that one. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Let's end this one early. Um, so, yeah. See everyone later. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. I am not even stopping. I'm just going to get right back into this and reset my timer. Um, peace out, everyone.